Hey there, Taurus Gemini. Welcome to your reading. I know I'm a little late, but happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful one. And today we're going to take a look at what you don't see coming and when that thing may actually happen. So uh, I'm excited for this. I'm glad to be back um, and welcome in. So let's get started here and let's take a look at what you don't see coming for Taurus Gemini. Let's see. Oh goodness, hello, we have shadow treasures, divine light, and heal thyself. Honestly, I feel like there's a little bit of a glow up. Um, I'm also hearing like hidden talent, so there could be something that maybe you even already know about, like it could be a hobby or a side hustle, um, something around those lines, and it's like out of the blue, that situation actually unfolds in a pretty positive way. Um, and maybe gains a lot of attention, maybe you get a lot of attention. I do get this feeling of like a little bit of self-confidence coming in um, and you possibly getting like catching a lot of people's attention because this divine light is feeling like it's your light. It's feeling like it's, it's you. It's the energy that you pass on to the world. And I feel like you're attracting actually a lot of good things and it is because you're connecting with that self-confidence and it is because you're just like becoming this vibrant beautiful being that is incredible all right um we have a lot of like 20 20s so maybe the 20s of the month could be significant but let's take a look let's take a look what shows up we also have little luxuries generates luxurious surroundings and experiences and then we go with the 28 incredible uh, let's get, okay, a couple more. We also have water. Work with the element of water for healing and purification. And happy love, a joyful, stable partnership and good friends. Honestly, I do get that there's a lot of things here around like career vibes. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a partnership coming through. Um, I really get this vibe of like there is a hidden talent or there is something that you're working on, uh, maybe behind closed doors there's a side hustle or something around those lines and that i feel like it's about to get a lot of attention and maybe maybe it's something that you have been working on and you will finally put that work out there and the response is actually going to be really really good and i do feel like a lot of it we even have we have healed thyself and then we have this water energy with healing and purification i do feel like a lot of it has to do with your view of yourself with your view of this talent with how you view your success so how do you view yourself how do you view this situation how do you um a good question is like are you imagining the best case scenario or imagining the worst case scenario and try to focus on the best case scenario because i really feel like that is what's going to happen okay but let's pull some tarot to get some more specifics yeah eight of pentacles this is career dude this is career related we have the world my goodness all right we also have the two of wands and the seven of swords so maybe not in june but uh i mean look at that we have the ten of pentacles ah so we have um july and august being pretty significant here for you in terms of timeline from when this happens and honestly that ten of pentacles bottom of the deck that is all about money like all of these little kids they have a pentacle each and this is almost like all the fans, all of the people that are praising you, all the people that are um, attracted to your work and that really vibe with your work, that vibe with your energy. This is all the people and all the opportunities that you're manifesting and attracting. And especially if this is something career related, you're getting a lot of freaking money. You're getting a lot of freaking money, let me tell you. And a lot of praise, a lot of success with this eight of pentacles i really feel like it's something that you have been working on and there with this eight of pentacles and the seven of swords there is this energy of like you being really hard on yourself like this girl she's working until she's bleeding and here is like i feel like the the process the process of putting your work out there and making this thing happen may cause a little bit of fear and a little bit of like oh but i'm not good enough and this is not going to happen in my favor and this is not going to work how i want it to to happen and it is going to work how you want it to happen okay so i feel like you have here an opportunity with the world as well but it, with this two of wands i feel like you have the opportunity here to really 
you know, step forward with confidence or step forward with fear. And it is going to be your choice and you have the key to make this whole thing happen. Honestly, I feel like it doesn't matter if you're thinking good of yourself or not. Um, I think you're gonna get successful anyways, but um, it has, it does have a lot of impact because, you know, even if that first initial re response is good, I feel like the way you react to that first initial response is going to make the rest of the process here. You know, so let's say you're working on a product and you're like, oh man, this is not perfect yet, but the timeline, you know, the deadline is there and I have to, I have to launch it. I have to, I have to put it out there in the world. And even if at that point you're thinking like, well, this is not perfect. Maybe it's not going to go that well. The response may actually be pretty good, but how you react to that response is like, oh, well, this is just like a few people. They, they, they don't understand this and they're being, they're being nice, right? That is going to limit your potential. That is going to, um, sort of restrict the amount of success, abundance, stability you can have from this, okay? So I do feel like this whole thing, this whole triggering, this whole situation around limiting beliefs and how you view yourself and this healing is part of um, a lesson, it's part of a cycle that you're breaking, it's part of something that you're finishing and a new cycle is beginning here. And again, that new cycle, you can go with it with the same um, with the same limiting beliefs, with the same pr perspective, with the same view of yourself, or you can change things around and you can start working right now on your self-confidence. So maybe do a little bit of pride journaling, maybe do a little bit where, you know, every single day uh, at night when you wake up, whatever you prefer, um, every single day you write something that you're proud of yourself for. You also, um, when something is not going as well, Take a walk, breathe, be nice to yourself, and maybe also maybe also do some affirmations and um, you know affirmations like, "I am doing great, I am talented, I am a good fill in the blank." You know, for example, if you're working on if it's something uh, art related, I'm a good artist. If it is, I don't know, maybe you want to be an accountant, <laughs> I'm a good accountant. You know, um, really try to get into that place of hyping yourself up because you are awesome and i really feel like this hidden talent this um project this whatever thing it is that you're working on it is part of your dna you're actually you're more talented than what you're telling yourself you are okay you're doing pretty damn good and you're naturally good at it okay so don't um don't cut yourself short okay you're, you're, you have way more than what you're telling yourself you have, okay? You're way more talented than what you believe you have. And even with like this like divine light, it's like this is part of your soul path. This is part of your purpose. And when you're doing this, I even feel like, sure, there is a lot of like perfectionism and a lot of like, huh, but maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done this this way and, and maybe people won't like it and da 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 da. But I really get this feeling of like when you're doing this thing, when you're connecting with this hidden talent, when you're, or it doesn't have to be like a hidden talent, but it could be like a hidden project or whatever. Um, when you connect with it, I really feel like you shine. I feel like you, like your energy becomes so attractive and addictive. And I really feel like you're, maybe you're even happier when you're doing that, you know, especially with this like happy love. I feel like everything is going to go so well. Okay, so please believe in yourself and have confidence in yourself because you're um, amazing. Okay, you're doing great. So we do have here for a little last message for you. We have courage when picking roses, don't fear the thorns. And I kind of feel like there may be a little bit of a thorn that you may need to get into, um, which is this being hard on yourself. Okay, and also do a little bit of journaling around that. When did it start? Why did it start? Why were people being... Um, it most likely comes from parents or other people's expectations and you feeling like you need to um, reach them and get into those expectations. Why were they being like that? What were they being that about, right? And I also feel that there's, there's this thing of maybe it wasn't needed. You know, I feel like the thing, what I'm trying to say is if you look back to those moments where people were being really tough on you and they were really like 
being super harsh and um, I don't know, maybe even f making you feel inferior. Was that actually a motivation tool or was it just bringing you down? And if people were actually nice to you, wouldn't you do the same type of work? Wouldn't you like have the same motivation or maybe even more? You know, that that is, you know, uh, I, I can't answer that question for you. You know, that is something that you have to answer yourself and reflect a little bit on because I feel like maybe you're not necessarily the type of person that uh, gets motivated with, you know, harshness. Maybe you're actually the type of person that gets motivated with joy and with excitement, you know? So do this thing out of love and know that whatever you're doing, because you're putting your heart into it, it is perfect, just the way it is. It is perfectly perfect, okay? And it's, it, this is also talking about that because like roses, roses are so beautiful. Look at them there. These are not real, but um, those are, the roses are beautiful, but they do have the thorns. So they are perfectly imperfect, okay? Just like your, this, the whole situation is perfectly imperfect, okay? So, Taurus Gemini, this is what I have for you. Again, July and August are going to be very significant for this situation, but um, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated and helped. Uh, don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already if you're new here and for private readings the link is going to be down below it kind of depends on when you're watching this but um i am taking a little break from private readings so maybe it won't they won't be available um when you look at this but um yeah there's also a five-year journal down there and since you are a cusp i would really appreciate it if you would go fill out the cusp survey okay so that is everything i need to say Thank you so much for being here. I wish you the freaking best. I love you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.